Well, good morning. This morning, a scripture's found in Acts chapter 3, verse 19, and it goes like this. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Repent. <laughs> you know, I've talked to a lot of folks over the years, and they're scared to death of that word, repent. You know, in fact, <laughs> they try to avoid saying it. I've even heard preachers that, you know, they, you never hear them say repent. Uh, but very few folks really understand what repent means. You know, you might be surprised to know that it's very simple. It's doing an about face. You know, now when I was in the service, well, you know, we had to do it about face quite often. And that's all it is, is just turning away, turning the other direction. And, uh, you know, uh, it, repent is a, a, a perfect description of what happens when you come to Jesus Christ. You no longer reject Jesus, but now you believe that Jesus Christ is the son of the living God. So you do an, a, a spiritual about face. You see, not only do you change your mind about Jesus, but you change your mind about sin as well, or at least you should. That's right. You know, you realize that it's no longer a performance. No, it's repentance is an attitude. You know, when we do something wrong and and we feel that, you know, little pluck in our heart saying, oh, you did something you shouldn't have done or said something that you shouldn't have said or seen something you shouldn't have been looking at, then we have to repent. Turn around from that sin and get away from it. So, folks, we shouldn't be afraid of the word repent. Instead, we should embrace it. The ideal of spiritual about face turning to Christ and away from sin. We all need to do that. And we need to be aware of, you know, what, what we see, what we hear, what we say. In the places our little feet goes, there's some places that if you're a child of God, you shouldn't be there, and you know it. Because if you're truly a child of God, you'll feel that in your heart. Uh-oh, I shouldn't, shouldn't do this or that, shouldn't listen to that, shouldn't have seen this or that. But when it happens, you be sure and repent right then. Well, I hope this encourages someone today. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. Yeah, he died on that cross for us, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.